I think when we started this journey, I talked about enabling resilience and what that meant, and this project delivered that. It was the best decision we ever made doing it as a community project because it just encapsulates everything we want to do here. The idea of working alongside people to create something definitely built that narrative and that story, but it's also surpassed that, that expectation. That's literally down to all these people coming and helping us. I mean, it's just so humbling. <laughs> I'm so grateful to everybody. I'm still not sure I actually completely believe what we achieved over seven days. So look, you know when you go to National Trust and they put the metal down the edge of the lawn? Cool. We all sat down together and started thrashing out ideas and suddenly that friendship and that focused unity into a, sort of a project started to happen. You could feel it. I'm Lisa Joy, I'm called LJ for short. I am the centre manager here at the Gordon Messenger Centre. It's a lovely place to to run because it's a sort of a family centre that has been built outside of the wire, uh, across the road so it's accessible by all user groups. And the beauty of this centre is it's become a kind of a signposting hub as well. Today we are starting the, the conceptual part of the garden project itself alongside some of the veteran groups who are going to be actively involved in the preparation and production of the garden. Major Mark Latham, Officer Commanding of Base Company here at CTCRM. Um, my role within the Gordon Messenger Centre uh, Garden Project is based on my involvement from the onset of the build of this fantastic facility. And the whole point of this centre is enabling resilience. Well, what does that look like? And I think that's a definite line that would, would be attached to the Garden Project. If you think of DIY SOS, remove tradesmen, insert veterans, that gives you a little taste of what the day's like. It's a great opportunity for us to work with an ex-military group, so it's really exciting to see what dynamic they'll bring to this build. My name's Colin Robson, I'm the Project Director for Splash Projects. This garden opportunity was opened up to the hub, which come from the exter area. Okay, that's perfect, but I think, I think it's important that everybody here stays connected. I think that's really, really important because you are the you are the starting point. And they are going to be the guys that are going to drive this design and build for, for the future, for all the people using the centre. Would it, would it be all of that grass area, or to the left of that grass area? We're looking at 35 volunteers a day um, to help out with the project. Uh, name's Gary Cruz, and I work for the Armed Forces Community Sport Hub, Devon. 35 volunteers a day is easily doable, especially with all the other external agencies, so they'll, they'll give a hand if required. It's just making sure we get the right veterans and community involved. We want people that are going to use this on a regular basis. The space at the moment is just a really large, open, garden, green grass area. So the idea is that we can sort of develop it into a multi-user garden space. The hope here is to have a dedicated area for all pillars that the centre supports and promotes within the Royal Marines family. A place where they can come, they can enjoy life, they can socialise um, and potentially sit in amongst um, the garden itself with mentors uh, and support organisations to improve their way of life. For day one, we had 24 participants and there were six individual groups laying patio slabs, building drywall, making planters, building sheds, um, and everybody was kept busy and everybody had a great day. I belong to the Military Wives Choir here at the GMC. We rehearse here at the GMC and we've seen it as just kind of bare earth and then scrubby grass, so it's wonderful to see what they're planning for it and it seems very important to have a space where both the young and the old and everyone else in between can come and feel welcome, basically. I think it's a wonderful project. 
For me, the key moment was when we sort of started to see the big build with height come into the garden, like a barn raising moment. And, and I just think that everybody should get involved in doing volunteer days and getting involved in this sort of projects because it, it teaches you so much about yourself, it takes you out of your comfort zone and um, everybody feels so much more united together for doing it and then they'll join in afterwards with the garden as well which is lovely. I've been nailing things, putting on doors, all sorts, whatever is required. SAFA is, um, is a very worthwhile charity. It is there to assist not only just serving members of the military, but also veterans. And to have somewhere like the GMC to go to is well worth it. Seeing the fire pit go in has been incredible. The dry stone walling has been such a journey for a lot of people to have a go at that and a new skill, and they've really enjoyed that. And everybody has been able to contribute to that. So we've had people that have got motor neuron disease and Parkinson's have been able to get involved and build the dry stone wall. Last well, door then now. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> We've currently set up a, a field kitchen as we would in any normal field exercise. Uh, we are here to support the, uh, the lovely volunteers here, giving up their time and uh, putting in a lot of effort. So we are here to cook for them for lunch, uh, just doing our bit to help support. Oh, it's close to my heart. My husband was in the forces for 23 years, so I've been an army wife. I know what it's like to be left behind. So to have facilities like this is just amazing. It's just really nice to give back. Perfect, right, shall I get some more? I work for Barclays and I know my manager here has been heavily involved in supporting this. We have a national project which is military veteran and uh, military spouse outreach programme and it's from that programme that I was introduced to LJ. So she invited me to see the centre with a view to see what Barclays could potentially do and I just knew straight away that it was something that I'd love to get involved in. Just open the lads there and then we're gonna... I make Royal Corps signals. I joined as a boy apprentice at the age of 15 and a half in 1965. Served worldwide with different branches of different forces. When I came out of the forces, there was nothing like this really available at that time. So life was a bit of a struggle. So this thing is a great development for the future. Everybody has been doing something. You know, we've had people in wheelchairs doing work. It's just brilliant to see that, that they're being part of something. It means that they can sort of come into the garden and feel they've helped with building the project as well. Hands up if this is your first day on project. So to you guys, welcome and thanks very much for turning up today. Splash Projects is about community. To do this sort of project 10 minutes from the office and ex-forces, ex which most of us are, that's a fantastic thing for us. To now get to a point of delivery, it's extremely satisfying to see that hard work coming to fruition. The bulk of the money we were really lucky came from a legacy, which was what gave us the chance to even start thinking about this. Working with Splash Projects has been incredible because without their help, I, I'm not sure how we would have done it. And then with this centre being so close to the barracks across the road, there's obviously really good working relationships there. Um, so they were quite happy to sort of be a part of everything. When they realised the scale of what we were doing and the benefits to the community and all the volunteers coming in and actually getting involved, people were quite keen to help, which we're so grateful for help out in the community it's a lovely thing to be doing we've got about six men here today and we've got the helpers on the wheelbarrows as well we're putting a buff colored tarmac down we don't do buff very often it's um it's usually black but buff is um, a lot lot better to take roughly two hours i would think it'll look very nice when it's all completed we was approached by splash and Safa. We had a list which was given to us by Splash. We sent out that list to our suppliers and, and our um, contractors and asked what they could do to help. And they've all come to the party and it's, it's great. It's really good to see what's happened. I can't thank them enough. Everybody who, who I've got involved in this project have done it free of charge. To see the volunteers come forward and actually do the work, it's absolutely amazing because what they started with the green field to what they've got there here now is a real testament to the hard work of people who have done well for the country and they're the volunteering to come and do this. So it's been a pleasure to be involved in it. So at Vistry, we are really lucky that our executive leadership team 
are open door type of people. So that when we told them about this project, they were like, absolutely, do what we can, go above and beyond what we can. And the stuff that we've been able to deliver here as part of the project is everything that Vistory stands for. It's everything that we're about. Places people love is our motto. And we always want to talk about lasting legacy. And I think a project like this community garden is everything for us. And actually, once you hear the stories of the people here, why wouldn't you want to go above and beyond to help them? The journey started just after I became elected as president June last year in a conversation with LJ, who's the manager of the GMC, when we were asking about how we could repay the service that they provide here for us, for our executive meetings, our AGMs. And in that conversation, she mentioned we were thinking of having some sort of sensory garden here and wondered if SAFA would be interested in sponsoring that project. And from that little conversation, we have now got what we've got here today, this amazing project, uh, which is sponsored by SAFA. SAFA, of course, being the soldiers, sailors, Airmen's and Families Association. So we not only look after veterans, we look after service personnel and also their families. May this garden serve as a symbol of unity, growth and hope for our community for many years to come. So the handover was magical. Um, to see all the volunteers back, see their work, um, to see them sharing with their loved ones. I put that screw in there, I did that. And I learned how to use this, was just a really magical moment. From little acorns grow mighty oaks. Great things come from small beginnings. Thank you. It's beautiful and I can't wait to see it grow and for everybody to come back and see it later. Yeah, just fantastic. At the end of the day, it's veterans building for veterans. And, and people have come from all walks of life, whether they be companies from contractors from Vistry, one of our main sponsors, and of course from Splash, so many of which are ex-servicemen. All of them have come into this small project which has just mushroomed into this massive project. And I think, yes, it is a singular triumph to have gone from a few planters to this magnificent place we have today. Remarkably, they only started eight days ago. After drawing in support from local sponsors and armed forces charities, the site now incorporates a meditation hut, a cooking area, stonework, and wooden planters for growing veg. Paper power, like what we created in it's seven days, it's just astounding, astounding. But we've got a lot yet to do as well, so we've got to get the next phase, which will be the planting and, and things like that. And we, you know, there are, there are things to do, but this is just incredible. Being ex-forces, I spent two years on the training team. So, yeah, I come back here now, I, was, I helped in the design, and I'll, I'll see it through to the end, along with the other guys, and it so it means hell of a lot to me. So, mission accomplished. A space for veterans, built by veterans. The realisation of a dream. John Danks, BBC Spotlight, Lumpston.